strong. I will be showing you one example of how to make a caterpillar's home. Today, I am making a moose caterpillar's home. Moose are nocturnal pollinators, meaning they are active at night. So while collecting nectar from the flowers at night, they also pollinate them. That is why I support their transformation from caterpillars to moose. Butterflies came from caterpillars. They play an important role in pollinating my native flowering garden. Caterpillars are hungry and they can eat a lot. That is why they are sometimes referred to as pests. Last autumn, I was devastated to see my ionium plants damaged by these caterpillars. To my surprise, the ionium plants survived and continued to grow in spite of the caterpillars' infestation. I have been observing these brown caterpillars around our garden and made a few brown caterpillars as pets. To understand these caterpillars and their parasitism relationship with aeonium plants. Hello everyone and welcome to GDOD Lifestyle Channel. This is my first video under the Hungry Caterpillars playlist. These brown caterpillars appear in autumn. They eat the ionium leaves for several days. Then they dig into the soil when they are ready to transform from larva to pupa during winter. They then surface above ground during spring as moose when it becomes warmer. 
which is good timing as there are more flowers during spring season and they can help pollinate them. river stones and organic and modern touch. They also like to sleep on top of the stones as they are cool and I like these river stones as they are smooth and easy to clean with water. to maintain the desired moisture in it. Of course, the plant would also need watering to survive. I selected the Aeonium plant because I found the caterpillars in a few of my Aeonium plant pots, which means they like them as home for laying eggs and larva stage. The Ionium plant provide fleshy leaves, which are caterpillars' favorite in my garden. And besides, I have plenty of them to share.
removed the pots from the aquarium and left it in a safe place in the alfresco so they can surface from the soil when they are ready and spread their wings with no obstructions.
They eat and they dispose as quickly as they feed themselves. So I regularly clean their home by removing the waste and rinsing them off to the garden soils as they are good soil fertilizer. I use water to clean their surroundings and I do not use cleaning chemicals anywhere in their home as chemicals are caterpillar repellents and may kill the caterpillars.
also fed them with mint leaves and gray cotton heads as they loved to eat them too. These brown caterpillars are of the Noctuidae family. They are commonly known as cluster armyworm. They have a smooth body with no protrusions and very few hairs. Approximately 2 inches in length with copper red and yellow spots or stripes. They also have very dark triangular patches above each spot and longer red stripe on lower body. Zooming in the abdominal prolegs, we can see very fine white spots over much of its body. into the soil, that means they will be transforming into a pupa, then moose, and it is time to let them go. Stay tuned to my channel for more interesting facts about hungry garden caterpillars. Thanks again for watching my video, and see you soon. Bye for now.